Good morning. I'm Lindsay Mann, and we're beginning a series of videos about wonderful happenings at Cuyalta. Last week and this week, we had our first two surgical robotic cases successfully performed at Cuyalta. I am here with the wonderful team and others who helped make this happen. Dr. Marty Pra was the surgeon who first led Da Vinci Surgical Robotic uh, Services at Cuyalta. Wendy Havily, our robotics coordinator, led a team in training and implementation that was essential to making this success story happen. We also have with us Dr. Walters. We can do no surgery without our good anesthesiologist and their support. Dr. Pra, what does the surgical uh, robotic system mean to our patients here in this community? Well, we're really happy to have the Da Vinci system here at Cui Delta. Um, we've been um, working on this for some time. We've completed our first two cases very successfully. I believe that um, this will offer a whole new realm of options to the patients in Cui um, Delta Hospitals District um, for cancer care and other complex uh, abdominal and pelvic surgeries. Uh, the Da Vinci system, uh, just as a brief overview, consists of the surgeon's console, which you see here, and the surgeon sits at the console and controls the two robotic arms looking through the three-dimensional scope. So that's where I'm sitting for a good portion of the case. The other portion of the system is the bedside robotic arms, which consist of the three main arms, a camera, which is the surgeon's eyeballs, and a right arm and a left arm. And the newer system also has an additional fourth arm, which basically the surgeon can use as his own assistant and, and provide retraction for himself. Uh, this SI that you see here is the absolute latest system that Da Vinci makes uh, been available just this year and has many features over the older systems um, including high definition visualization uh, not only for the surgeon is high definition in 3D but all of the uh, operating personnel, personnel are looking at uh, 1080 high definition screens. Uh, the robot is much more compact, has more movability which makes it usable for more surgeries than just prostatectomy, uh, which is right now has been the uh, main impetus for us to get the system here. With this newer system, uh, we see that it will be applied certainly to kidney surgery, in urology, other pelvic surgeries, uh, gynecology will be able to perform hysterectomies and um, other female pelvic surgeries for them. Um, uh, pelvic surgeries for the general surgeon, and even some thoracic procedures. I would predict that Quia uh, will be involved in all of that. Um, also, the system can perform lots of other things, including cardiac bypass surgery without a sternotomy, um, and mitral valve repair. Recent papers suggest ENT surgeons can remove the thyroid through an incision in the armpit. Um, this is a system uh, that's ongoing and developing and will be many future developments. But um, I see this as Tuya Delta's one more step in becoming a center of excellence um, above you know, uh, all the others around the area. Thank you, Dr. Prof. We could not be more pleased with the progress we've made. And to make this happen, there's a whole team that supports Dr. Prof and other surgeons using this technology. Wendy, tell us about your team, the kind of training you went through, and how you felt about getting those first two cases done very successfully. Well, we're very excited about the results of the first two cases and the preparation for um, these procedures began a long time ago. The research, the acquiring of knowledge began over a year ago and um, we started with observing Dr. Croft in uh, doing procedures elsewhere and um, gaining his preferences and, and knowledge in that way. I was also sent to Colorado for a one-day seminar for program coordinator sponsored by the Association of Operating Room Nurses, which was extremely beneficial from creating a contact uh, reference resource list. And then we were fortunate enough to go to Ohio State uh, in Columbus, Ohio, with a team of five of us for three days. And that was wonderful because it was one-on-one -on -one with our team from um, the experts where it all began. Uh, with robotics in the United States. And we've created a very versatile team. We 
we have surgical technologists, we have RNFAs, we have RNs, and my goal was to create a very diverse yet um, cohesive group that uh, with versatility, and the results of that so far has been, I think, wonderful. And it's just really inspiring to work with a skilled surgeon and have great anesthesia support. So, so far so good, and we're just it's the tip of the iceberg where this can go. Congratulations, Wendy. Dr. Walters, talk to us about the anesthesiologists and their role in this procedure. Well, one thing about with the Da Vinci, the positioning of the patient is paramount to a, having a successful surgery by the, by the surgeon. So, uh, as an anesthesiologist, our goal is to facilitate the changes that will occur with the physiology with this type of surgery. And so far, so good. Uh, a lot of us have received training other, other, at other institutions before coming here to uh, start this progress. So, I'm very happy with the progress that we've made so far in our first two cases. Thank you, Dr. Walters. Well, there you have it. From the operating rooms at Kui Delta, the beginning of a new era in medicine at Kui Delta using surgical robotics. I'm congratulatory of our team. I thank all of you for our support. I'd also like to reference the fact that our community supported the acquisition of this technology by raising in excess of two million dollars and a great deal of that came from our hospital staff that did a fabulous job to bring this technology here to Cui Delta. Thank you. This success story is your success story. Have a good day.